So here's a pretty easy integral. We've got our little rod here, the distance uh, W away from this point P, and we're trying to find the electric field at that point. Here's the charge thing. So we would start with an E equals KQ over R squared. You've got to figure out what R squared would be. Technically, you'd be thinking in terms of X over here, okay? But let's just say, let's say with the radius, let's say the radius was X. It wouldn't really be quite right because X would be like right there. And well, that's not how far away it is. It's actually more like that far. So technically it would be L plus W uh, minus X. And that's what you would get for R. If you were to define this as uh, a zero, zero point. Okay, so it's not going to be x as far as the distance is, because that's just be that. So it's going to be L plus W minus x, and then that's going to be your R. Okay, so that's what we'll plug in there. You're obviously going to want to square that, because uh, R squared. And so we're going to go E equals K, and then uh, I suppose we'll figure out what that DQ stuff is later. But we're going to have uh, L plus W minus x squared on the bottom. Now let's try dq is going to be equal to lambda dx, right? Because it's in the x direction, and so that's pretty easy. We'll just plug that right in there. E equals k uh, lambda dx over l plus w minus x squared. And now we're ready to integrate. I know it doesn't seem like <laughs> much, but uh, it's actually just going to be like this. So k lambda... And then we're going to rewrite this part as L plus W minus X squared DX. And now here's the interesting thing. What is the derivative of what's inside of this? Considering that these are just constants. The derivative is negative 1. Okay? So keeping that in mind, let's integrate this. Uh, we would get something like this. E equals K lambda and then L plus W minus X Plus, plus 1, here's going to be 3, and you're going to, uh, oh, sorry, it's actually supposed to be negative 2 here, right? Okay. Great, negative 2. But um, you're going to add 1 to that, so you get negative 1 on top. Then you can go ahead and divide it by, you know, negative 1, right? But then you're also going to divide it by the derivative of what's on the inside, which is negative 1. Those are just going to cancel out, and uh, you're just going to get this stuff on the right, which is E equals... Uh, K, uh, and what is the, the, um, what do you call it, uh, where are we going from, right? We have to think about the, the limits of integration. Um, we're going to be going from uh, 0 to L, okay? And so then you can plug in uh, L in the first one. I'll give it a little bit of space because we're going to need to subtract. All right, so the answer to this is going to be something like E equals... Uh, k lambda, and then we're just going to put everything in the parentheses from now, because uh, obviously this is going to go away, and you're going to be left with this, but it's on the bottom, so it's going to be 1 over L plus W minus X, but what is X in the first situation? It's L, so it would be L plus W minus L, and then uh, over here, this is going to be subtracted by, uh, you plug in 0 there, so you're going to be 1 over L plus W. Um, there you go. And uh, obviously, this is just going to cancel out, and so the answer is just a k lambda times 1 over L w minus 1 L plus w. And uh, there we go. Nice and easy.